Alright, quick update on SLP. Let's see what's been going on since our last video. So, uh, it looks like, similar to the Axie Infinity chart, which I did just check out and made a video on, uh, these probably will be getting uploaded at the same time, but I'm noticing SLP and Axie Infinity, obviously uh, they're pretty much two coins that are linked together. They do have a very, very similar chart where they're both putting in this ball flag formation right now. So, I have been talking about this 618 region slash local top uh, between the 210 and the 216 of a cent uh, so uh, 2 cents 16 or 0 0.0216 uh, whatever you want to call it I'm just going to call it 216 from now on to make it quicker uh, but we are making this bull flag formation right now doesn't have a very impressive target from what I can see uh, but nonetheless this would carry us above the previous rejection point at the 618 Fibonacci which I do believe is the most important thing now uh, to highlight what I've highlighted before we've had this massive rally on SLP once we came all the way up to four cent we were sitting on the sidelines waiting for a good entry point waiting for this to be a confirmed reversal point and in my opinion it's it's still kind of 50 50 whether this is a confirmed reversal uh, because we have been rejected multiple multiple times at the 618 fibonacci and i don't even really like to call this a bull flag too much because it seems like you know the flag is almost getting to the same length for this pole and this pole is not very impressive i mean maybe if we come over to the four hour no, on the four hour, it's even more wonky and weird. So, uh, nonetheless, I do think uh, Axie Infinity is in a very nice ball flag right now. If it does break out, I imagine this will carry uh, SLP out with it. Uh, so, nothing has really changed since my last video. I just wanted to update you uh, that the breakout target the moon zone is still this between this uh, 618 Fibonacci at the 210 and this previous local high at the 215 216 217 uh, depending on what chart and where you draw it from so what I'd be looking for uh, personally if I was looking to enter a trade on SLP uh, which I do think is in the cards for some time soon uh, I would personally be looking for a trade all the way up to this 200 day moving average uh, which also ties in with this previous local top so we have a lot of confluence coming in right now with this local top at the 4 cent and the 200 day moving average they're both tapering into each other or this 4 cent isn't tapering anywhere because it's a horizontal ray but this 200 day moving average is converging and coming closer and closer to this uh, horizontal resistance and this previous local top we've got a four cent so what am I looking for what do I need to see to make a trade I'll make it very quick for you I want to see a break above the previous rejection point at 216 slash 217 I want to see a back test of 216 slash 217 and then I want to see a push up once that happens I will enter a short-term position for SLP I'm not going to be entering a short-term position until then uh, because we have not confirmed a reversal in my opinion uh, what I see is we've had a massive massive move up a big big push down to the 786 we've had a very small bounce up to the 618 and so far we've been rejected one two three four five six seven eight nine times uh, which is i mean you can say that that's a bad thing uh, but i always do say support and resistance does get weaker and weaker the more times you test it and it is good that we are testing 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 this because i do think we are going to break above it at some point soon it's better that we're testing 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 the top of this 618 fibonacci uh, rather than hovering around the bottom of this 786 down here at the 156 and testing 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 the floor because then we would probably be getting ready to break through the floor we're not doing that we're testing the top of this 618 fibonacci so once again to keep it very simple for you this is what i'm looking for i'm looking for a break above the previous uh, rejection point a break above the 618 a break above this previous local top at 215 to 217 once we start heading up i imagine you know once we start having a daily close above slash around 217 to 220 then i would be entering a short-term position because the risk adjusted returns of this trade basically a 90 percent pump all the way up to the 200 day moving average slash this previous local top at the four cents so that's a 90 percent move i'll definitely be happy to make a trade on slp once that happens until that does happen i'm still sitting on the sidelines because i'm not 100 percent convinced that we are about to have a breakout so i'm happy to sit on the sidelines i'm happy to miss out on the first 
7% rally while we do backtest this uh, previous rejection point and then have a push up. And I would be very, very happy to, you know, walk away with a 90% profit on this trade. So that is all I see for SLP. Best of luck if you are holding SLP. I will update you if and when we do break out of the top of the 618. And I'll update you if we get a strong rejection, break through the bottom of this bear flag, because then I would be predicting that we would be coming down to fulfill uh, the basically the bottom of this trend and that is a very very harsh drop so uh, that's a 56% drop if we do do that but like I said we are pushing against the 618 this is starting to look fairly decent it is looking like we are getting rearing up for a breakout but I'm still sitting on the sidelines I'm not trying to catch a falling knife I'm not trying to assume that the chart is going to break up and then watch it break down I'd much rather get in as we're breaking out once the chart tells me that we're going to break up further uh, because then like I said very nice trade 90% increase on our hands so that's all I've got for you for SLP um also, I'm not the biggest uh, SLP bull, like I don't research the fundamentals of this all the time, but I have had a few conversations with you uh, in the comments about the Origins update. I have no idea what is going on with the Origins update right now, so if any of you have any information, any updates for that, uh, any advice, or in, not advice, but any kind of information that would lead to you know a potential uh, date when Origins is meant to release. I know, I think the previous conversation I had with you guys, you said it was meant to come out in Q1 and now it's delayed till Q2. If any of you have any updates on that, I'd appreciate that. So that's all I've got for you for SLP. Once again, none of this is financial advice, just my own opinion on the market. And yeah, best of luck. Cowboy out. Peace.